No! Hello everyone, my name is Katie and welcome back to my channel. What I want to take some time to do in today's video is talk about my sign book collection. I just love having signed books. I love going to author signings. I think it is just such a personal touch to a book and allows you to connect to an author on another level. And there are a few different books that I'm going to be showing off. There's some that come pre-signed either like in a book box or just like all of the editions were signed and then sent out and then some that I got signed at BookCon last year and some that I went to individual author signings for. So I'm going to go in that order in the way that I present the books and there's actually a lot. So I am going to not give like too big of a description on any of the books but if you are interested in learning more about the series i will leave a link to their goodreads page down below probably just like the first book in this series if there's multiple of them and more so especially when we get to the book signing ones i want to talk about my experience of meeting the author like what we talked about what it was like meeting them it's just such a cool way for readers to interact with the people that create the stories that they love and I just think that signings are absolutely a blast and I definitely plan on going to more in the future as many as I can and I'm also looking forward to BookCon because there's going to be so many authors there and hopefully I can get lots of books signed. So in terms of the books that come pre-signed I'm just going to kind of like go through my shelf in order and there's really no chronological order to this but let's head on out. Starting with my Shadowhunters books I got this copy of Lady Midnight from Amazon it actually came with in author stamp. The Dark Artifices is like the third series in the Shadowhunter Chronicles world and we follow the conflict between the Shadowhunters and the fairies mostly and it's one of my most favorite series. I adore this book and so I was really happy when I saw that it had come with a little Cassandra Clare stamp. Next, my Waterstones edition of Lord of Shadows, which is the second book in the Dark Artifices series. Also has the same Cassandra Clare stamp as well as my copy of Queen of Air and Darkness, as you can see here. Book stamps are cool and a fun little thing in an exclusive book, but it's definitely not as personal as an author's actual signature. In these special editions of A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab, in which we follow Antari, blood magicians that can travel between four parallel Londons with varying levels of magic, there are pre-signed pages from V.E. Schwab as well. So we have one here, pretty much the exact same one in this book, although I've heard these are like pages that are inserted and V.E. Schwab actually physically signed all of them, which is amazing because I'm sure there are probably lots of these books in print. So like, I don't know how authors don't get carpal tunnel, honestly. The next book that I have that has come pre-signed is God's Grave by J. Kristoff, the U S hardback, and it's every edition was the signed first edition, so this is actually a part of the cover. And I actually got this one on Book Outlet, which is really cool. So for the Nevernight Chronicles, I'm pretty sure J. Kristoff signs like every first edition of this book, which is insane to me. So we have a little signature page here. And the Nevernight Chronicles follows Mia Corvair, a ruthless assassin on the hunt for revenge in a land where the three suns almost never set. And it's amazing. I love it so much. So I'm really happy that I picked up this signed first edition book. When Barnes & Noble was having its Black Friday sale this past November, I picked up the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition of Girls on Paper and Fire by Natasha Naga, which comes with this insert signature page. Girls of Paper and Fire is an Asian-inspired fantasy in which every year eight paper girls are chosen to serve as the harem to the demon king. However, this year there is a ninth girl and she is made of fire. Sometimes the best way to find some signed novels are in independent bookstores or indie bookstores. So these following two novels I picked up when I was at Books of Wonder in New York City this past fall. I grabbed Legendary by Stephanie Garber, which is the second in the Carval series. As you can see, it has a signature page here. I have not yet read this series, but it's basically about this exclusive carnival that's like a game, and the main character must go to this carnival and save her sister. So I'm excited to get to this one in the future soon because I have a signed copy, first of all, and second of all, because it seems just like a really fun, whimsical read. The second book that I picked up that was pre-signed is Night of Cake and Puppets by Lainey Taylor, illustrated by Jim D. Bartolo, who is Lainey Taylor's husband. And this one is like a beautiful book. It's like a companion to the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy, and I think we follow the side characters. And as you can see here, here's the pre-signed book. 
This next book I picked up at Porter Square Books in Boston, which I frequent all the time, and I see that there are lots of signed books available by authors, and I like to go and purchase these books because I want to support my local independent bookstore. And that is A Curse So Dark and Lonely by Bridget Kemener, and there was actually a signing for her at this bookstore, and I completely missed it, and I'm really sad about it, but I did snag this autographed copy, which you can see here, and she has a lovely signature. A Curse So Dark and Lonely is a Beauty and the Beast retelling where we follow Harper, who has cerebral palsy, and she somehow gets transported into a an alternative land where every autumn Prince Wren turns into a horrible beast. These next two signed books are from the book boxes that I've gotten in the past. In book boxes, the books usually come signed, which is amazing. I'll go in chronological order that I got the books. So firstly, we have Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young, which was in like the May Owl Crate, and it was the first ever Owl Crate that I got. And as you can see here, it has an inserted signature page. Sky in the Deep follows a Viking warrior, Ewan, whose world is turned upside down when she sees her brother, who was presumed dead to be fighting for the enemy village. Next up is Amber and Dusk by Lyra Celine, which is the December Owl Crate book. And as you can see here, we also have this insert page with her signature. Amber and Dusk is about Sylvie, a girl with the power to wield illusions. However, unsatisfied being stuck on the edge of nowhere, she heads out to the glittering Amber court only to be realized that court politics are nothing like she expected. The next sign book I have is The Gilded Wolves by Roshni Chachki, which was in the January Owl Crate, I believe. And of course, we have this signature page here. The Gilded Wolves is set place in 1889 alternative Paris, following Severin Montagne Allery, who is a wealthy hotelier and likes to acquire thing with the help of his outcast friends when he is offered a chance at his true inheritance. Severin and his band of unlikely experts must put everything at risk for the greatest reward. In the February Owl Crate, we got Crown of Feathers by Nikki Paul Preto, and here is the little signature page with the signature well, obviously it's a signature page. Crown of Feathers follows a world that was torn apart by the war between two sisters. 16 years later, Veronica is a war orphan who runs away from her controlling sister to disguise herself as a boy and join the Phoenix Riders. However, her world comes crashing down around her when her sister shows up and threatens to reveal all of her secrets. Not gotten to this one yet, but I'm very excited because I've heard really great things. The February Fairy Loot Box is Circle of Shadows by Evelyn Skye, and look at those lilac sprayed edges. Lilac is one of my favorite colors, so I was so happy about this book when I saw it. <clears throat> and of course, we have this beautiful signature page. I think it's awesome that we have this little like fairy loot insert here and it kind of looks like the cover and it's really cool. In Circle of Shadows we have warrior partners Sora and Damon who are looking for a chance to prove themselves which however is not that easy in an empire that has been at peace for the last hundred years. So when they encounter a strange camp of soldiers they decide to infiltrate and will change their lives forever. And finally from book boxes, I have the March Owl Crate, which is Four Dead Queens by Astrid Schulte. And I love that she used this colorful pen to sign this insert page. And it's like shiny almost. Four Dead Queens follows a land divided in four with each kingdom specializing in something different and ruled by a queen. When all four queens show up dead, something is seriously amiss. Carolee Corrington is a thief who finds herself in the middle of the mystery of the death of these four queens. Moving on along, I'm going to be talking about the books that I got signed at BookCon 2018. On the first day of BookCon, the two authors that I got tickets to see were Victoria Aviard and Neil Shusterman. However, I didn't realize that those signings overlapped, so I was only able to go to Victoria Aviard, but my friend got my Neil Shusterman book signed because she was on that line. So of the Red Queen series by Victoria Aviard, which follows a world divided by blood with the reds being ordinary people and the silvers being the elite with superhuman powers. The world is turned upside down when Mara Barrow, a common red, reveals that she has powers of her own. And she won't stop until the silvers stop overlording over the reds. So as you can see, I have Glass Sword signed, which is book number two in the series. King's Cage, which is the third book in the series, signed. And Warstorm, which is the final book in the series and personalized because it had just come out around the time of BookCon. So Victoria Aviard was the first author that I ever met and I was just like extremely nervous and I didn't know what to say to her so I felt like I just walked up to her and I was like, hey, I'm like, I just 
was like so nervous and excited I just like could not think of anything to say like I didn't even say something like oh I really like your books blah 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 like I just stood there so she was really nice and she, we had this whole conversation about she just said that she really liked my makeup because I had very sparkly eyeshadow on that day and we talked about how Lee Bardugo also always has amazing makeup which Lee Bardugo does always have amazing makeup so it was kind of like a fun conversation that way but yeah I like feel bad that I like did not come with anything to say because I was just so nervous but I'm sure authors are used to that and as I've met more authors I've definitely gotten more comfortable with having conversations with them. Even though I was not able to get in line for it to meet Neil Shusterman, my friend did get my copy of Scythe signed. And so you can see here, he signed in some cool gold marker. Scythe is one of the first dystopians I have read in a really long time. And it is just a really cool book. It is a world where we have basically cured all illnesses and no one dies. However, to control the population, there are special roles called scythes where they go around gleaning people, aka they just decide who is going to die. And the method of gleaning people is really individualized up to certain, um, and it's up to like the individual scythe to decide how they want to do that. However, because of that, there are some really corrupt people here that use the power of death to their own gain. And this book is such an interesting exploration of life and death, and I highly recommend it if you have not read it yet. Next up at BookCon, I went to the Source Books booth because I was going to try and meet Claire Legrand that morning for her book Furyborn. However, the line was like just so long that we came back later. And when I did come back later, they were selling copies that were pre-signed so I did not get to meet her and I didn't get a fully personalized copy but I did get to pick up this book and I think they were selling it for cheap which is really nice and it ended up being one of my favorite books of 2018 so it's awesome that I have a signed copy. Fearborn takes place in a world where there is a prophecy. There will be two queens with the power to wield all seven elements, the Sun Queen and the Blood Queen. Riel Darden must pass seven trials to prove that she is the Sun Queen when her powers are exposed. We also follow Eliana Farakora a thousand years later, who is a bounty hunter for the Empire and must join with level forces when her mother is kidnapped. And it just has such a big twist and turn in it. I love this because we follow two timelines that are a thousand years apart, which is just not something that is commonly done. And I loved both of these female leads in this book and it is just a really cool and original book and I loved it a lot and I'm happy that I got to buy it at BookCon because the experience of going up to the booth was awesome. And now I have a signed copy. Also at that booth, they were giving out buttons and it says, ask me if I'm a sun queen or a blood queen, which is awesome. Next up in the day, my friends went to meet Adam Silvera, so I did not meet him myself. However, my friends were kind enough to get me a copy of They Both Die at the End signed. And he was kind enough to personalize it for them. Usually you can only get one book personalized, but sometimes authors will personalize more. So it's awesome that he personalized it for me. And They Both Die in the End takes place in a near future alternative version of New York City where you get a call on the last day of your life. Mateo and Rufus get this call from Deathcast by only being teenagers and meet with each other on an app for people on their last day of life. And I don't know if I've mentioned this before but I have really awesome friends and we just tag team book con and it was amazing. My friend Melissa met Saba Tahir and so she brought my copy of Torch Against the Night with her to get it signed because I couldn't and Saba was nice enough to personalize it to me even though I wasn't there specifically to meet her and I did meet her earlier in the day because I randomly won a contest I think I just I saw it on Twitter and I entered it like a few days before book con to have a photo up with Saba so I will post the picture here yeah so I got to, to chat with her a little bit but it was kind of hectic and crazy I just said that I was really excited for Rebirth Gates and I loved her series and so then later on in the day Melissa was kind enough to get my book signed for me it was just really really nice of her and she's the best and of course my friend Christina is also the best for helping me get some signed books I think she she got uh they both at the end of sign for me. The other author signing I went to on Sunday of BookCon is Tomi Yemi, and I got Children of Blood and Bone signed and I was so excited for this book and I still have my little like post-it with how to spell my name in here and she signed it in gold and it's awesome and Children of Blood and Bone you've probably heard about everywhere because it's super popular but it's a West African inspired fantasy. Last up at BookCon I got to meet Marissa Meyer and I got this copy of Heartless signed and she was kind enough to personalize it and it says to Katie we're all mad here which I just think is the coolest thing ever and I didn't think that I was going to get to meet Marissa Meyer because I didn't get a ticket to her signing but in the author signing lines if like before the author's a lot of time is up 
and there's no one online they will let you go online to meet the author and this kind of I think happens probably more on Sunday than Saturday because people are starting to leave by Sunday afternoon and so it was really awesome that I got to meet her and I was just like not expecting to meet her so I didn't have anything prepared to say but she was really really nice and I'm happy that I got this book signed and I also got Renegades signed for my friend Christina who like bought it at the signing so yeah it was awesome that is about it for books that I got signed at BookCon and then when I moved to Boston there are so many authors that come to Boston and so I started going to a lot of author signings and it is just such a fun time to listen to the author talk about their book in a conversation format and then being able to chat with them a little bit so First up, I went to Mackenzie Lee's signing for The Ladies' Guide to Petticoats and Piracy. So I have My Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, which is actually the Apple Crate version that I won at BookCon. And she signed it to Katie, my darling, which is just adorable. I love when authors put a little touch on it. And The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue is about a lordling called Monty who goes on a trip across Europe with his best friend that he may or may not be in love with and his sister and it's just super fun. And of course, since the signing was for the these lady guides to Petticoats and Piracy, I also got this book signed and it also says to Katie, my darling. Um, this signing was a lot of fun because Mackenzie Lee is just so sweet and I loved hearing her talk about the kind of the research that went into her books and we had talked about how I had this book tabbed everywhere and she was just saying that she was such a fan of the tabs and asking what they meant and it's just so cool to see an author connect to what you connected with as a reader and every time I've had tab books authors have said like how they thought it was just so cool that I do that when I read my books, so it's just really heartwarming. The last thing that I got signed at BookCon is City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab, and this is an ARC, and this was like one of the most sought after ARCs, and the line was crazy, but Victoria Schwab is really fast at applying her signature, and so I was able to just kind of hop on the line and get this arc and get it signed and it was my first time meeting the Ishwab and it was really quick so I only really got to say like hi for a second but it was just cool because this is like the only arc I have and I will treasure it because it's just such a fun memory attached to it. In October I went to a VE Schwab signing for the release of Vengeful and I got every single VE Schwab book that I own signed. <laughs> so I love VE Schwab so much and it, I just had my like backpack that I brought to work that day filled to the brim with V.E. Schwab books and she was kind enough to sign every single one of them and I believe she personalized two. So I got A Darker Shade of Magic personalized to me. So we have this like signature page but then if we go to the title page we have this personalized signature. All three books in the A Darker Shade of Magic trilogy that I actually own in paperback because this I got these back before I was on booktube and I didn't know that reading hardcovers was cool. Signature there. In a gathering of shadows, the second book. And a conjuring of light, the third book. I also got the Monsters of Verity duology sign, so the Savage Song. And our dark duet. And of course, since I was there for a signing of Vengeful, I got Vicious signed, and Vengeful I got personalized. So when I was talking to V.E. Schwab, we had like a pretty long conversation, and she had seen all my tabs. I was maybe like halfway through the book or something like that at that point. She's like, oh my god, I love your tabs. What do they mean? And she was just like flipping through the book, and she saw this page where I had written feminism in the margin and she saw that and she was like that is so cool that's awesome she was like laughing and it was a really awesome way to connect with her because she is like my favorite author and I basically worked up the guts to tell her I go I just want to let you know that you're my Slytherin queen and she thought it was like the best thing ever and she's like I'm honored to be your Slytherin queen and it was just like so cool and I'll post a picture of me and her at the signing table together and uh, it was just such a great experience. I loved hearing her talk and because she's one of my favorite authors like it was just such a fond memory for me and I just had a blast at that signing. So the next signing that I went to was 
The next signing that I went to is the Lainey Taylor signing in New York City at Books of Wonder and I went in November for the release of Muse of Nightmares and Stranger Dreamer Muse of Nightmares are some of my favorite books ever. So this signing was in New York City and I live in Boston so I drove down for the weekend so that me and my best friend Melissa could go together and here's a picture of us at the signing. It was just so much fun. There was no limit to the amount of books that you could bring so Melissa and I just brought every single Lainey Taylor book that we own. And in preparation for going to the signing, I did acquire the whole Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy, which Melissa had ordered a hardback copy of Dreams of Gods and Monsters, which is the third book from like a used bookstore and it came in paperback, but so she gave it to me instead. So that's how I got this one. And then I ordered these two on Amazon so I could have all three in paperback. Lainey Taylor was just so sweet. Again, she talked about how I had tabbed my books and it was just really nice getting to talk to her and she made like little symbols and illustrations in all of the books that she signed so this is daughter of smoke and bone days of blood and starlight dreams of gods and monsters and then of course strange the dreamer one of my favorite books ever she wrote for katie and put a little star in there which is just so adorable and like i love strange the dreamer so much as well as news of nightmares which is the book that this was for and she wrote for katie and then she was also giving out these stickers which is artwork done by her husband which is super cool and i just loved going to see books of wonder which is known as one of the really cool bookstores in new york city and getting to spend the day with my best friend going to be one of her favorite authors and the most recent author signing I went to is the Cassandra Clare signing in December for the release of Queen of Air and Darkness. And of course, Melissa came with me. She, I came to New York City for Lainey Taylor. She came to Boston for Cassandra Clare. And it was so, so wonderful. And I love Cassandra Clare. I'm like trash for Shadowhunters. So it was just amazing. You, of course, got Queen of Air and Darkness signed. And then you could bring one more book to get signed. So I decided to bring Clockwork Princess. However, I do have a signed copy of Clockwork Prince from when this book first came out in 2011. So I was in high school when this came out and Melissa was like really into Shadowhunters. She lent me her copy of Clockwork Angel and she said she wanted to go to the Clockwork Prince signing. So I did. So I've had this copy signed for like ever. And this was like the only book that I owned in the Infernal Devices. Look, I don't know what I was doing. And I had read this Clockwork Angel and Clockwork Prince and then never read Clockwork Princess. Like... What was I doing with my life? So, of course, Clockwork Princess, which is just the most heartbreakingly perfect book ever, I got this used copy on like A Books or something like that, and I brought it to the Cassandra Clare signing to get it signed. And the line was definitely moving really quickly, so there wasn't a lot of time to talk to Cassandra Clare, but I did wear these like rune tattoos, and she said how much she like loved the tattoos and how she thought it was really cool that I wore them to the signing, and I was like, yeah, it's really fun, and like I love that I kind of got to like embody a shadow hunter at that signing and of course my copy of queen of air and darkness which is personalized just look at it it's amazing ah i love the dark artifices so much and i'm so happy that i have it signed and in the future i am going to try and go to every cassandra claire signing ever so i can try and get all of my clockwork angels so i have all three infernal devices signed and then i want to get lady midnight and lord of shadows signed one day as well so that I have both the trilogies signed. I think it's a little bit too ambitious to try and get every single book in the more legitimate sign because there's a lot of them. Back in the day, the first ever book signing I went to was for Mockingjay by Suzanne Collins. Back in high school, me and my friends were obsessed with the Hunger Games and of course, I still love the Hunger Games now, but this is the first time we ever traveled to go to a book signing. Like I love the Hunger Games since the first book had come out. And so I, super excited to go to the tour and what had surprised me is Suzanne Collins read like the first chapter aloud at the signing and she had a very southern accent for Katniss and I was not expecting that at all. That's the one thing that I remember. The other thing is that this was only a stamp because she had very bad carpal tunnel and could not actually sign everyone's books. But again, I went with Melissa and a few other friends from high school and it was just an amazing day. And this was really the first ever time that I'd been like exposed to going to a book signing and it was just fantastic. And of course, the most recent book signing that I went to is the Lee Bardugo signing for the release of King of Scars. And so I got to 
meet Lee Bardugo and in the signing I talked about how I was really excited for her new novel Ninth House because it's about secret societies at an Ivy League school and I went to an Ivy League school and I just like kind of know how that environment can be so I think that having a like murder dark book set in that setting is going to be fantastic and the cover was actually just revealed and it's so good <laughs> so I'm super excited for that book and we just, she's like, I don't know if they'll ever let me back on campus again. I'm like, that just makes me even more excited to read your book. So you could bring two additional books besides Cam Scars to get signed and so I brought my Six of Crows duology. So you can see here is the signature page on this one and on Cricket Kingdom. They also gave away fun little things at the signing so I got this Grishaverse map and I got my Grishaverse passport with this little picture that they took of me at the signing holding my book and of course i got my beautiful copy of king of scars personalized to moi so there it is and it's just so amazing lee bardugo was amazing to hear speak about her work and like just love her a lot and another one of my queens that i got to meet which is just like amazing so at this point i've met V.E. Schwab, Cassandra Clare, Lainey Taylor, Lee Bardugo at signings, and they're all my queens. So as you can see, collecting books is really important to me, and I think that having a signed book just kind of gives you a more personal connection to the author and to the story, and so I'm really, really happy that I have this extensive signed book collection, and just the memories behind these signings are just really meaningful to me, and I just try and search for, and when I know that a book is coming out that I'm interested in, <clears throat> And basically the way that I find these signings is that a lot of times publishers will release them on Twitter, but also I follow my local bookstores that I know will host other signings and see what their upcoming events are for the next few months. And if I see something that interests me, I will purchase a ticket and go. <laughs> Let me know down below if you have any signed books that are super meaningful to you. And if you don't have any signed books, like what is one author that you would absolutely love to meet? Have some fun, read some books, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.